I think as healthcare professionals, the thing that we have to realize is that electronic media is part of our culture. TV was always around, but it was confined to the living room, and electronic devices can be taken wherever we go. So it potentially increases the benefits and also the negative impact. We know that language development in young children is directly related to the amount of what they call talk time, which is face-to-face -face interaction with their parents and their caregivers. If you think of a way that a parent or anyone interacts with a child, they look at them in the eyes, they raise their voice, they emote, they interact, you're so beautiful, look at your beautiful red shoes, they describe things, and that interaction is lost uh, with the screen. When children under the age of two look at a screen, they don't learn, they don't have the same cognitive ability. We know that young children have something that's called a video deficit, that they don't integrate the material that they see on the screen the same as they would if it were a live presentation. Up to 96% of all parents state of children under a year of age that their babies are exposed to mobile media technology, and that's in addition to TV. Three quarters of two-year-olds are reported to use daily mobile media. The American Academy of Pediatrics actually does not recommend media use in children under two years old. We know that there are no benefits and there are potential negative consequences. We also know that if a child does watch media, they are much more beneficially impacted if they're watching it with their parents. Moderation is key, and the more that the parent interacts, the more that the parent is involved, the better for the child. Many parents do use media to um, do chores, to calm their child, to put them to sleep. If it's for brief periods of time, it may not be harmful, but there are also other ways that are more beneficial to children. There are benefits to independent play that the child does not have when they are placed in front of a screen. Up to 30% of children have TVs in their room by the time they're at the age of two, and 50% of four-year-olds, and that it can actually reduce the ability to sleep. Over the age of two, there are possible educational benefits to um, the programming that's available. It is very extensive, but I believe it should only be one media form that the child uh, uses. We know through research that children that are exposed to excessive media, they do not read as much, they do not learn to read as easily as their peers, and it's a matter of uh, extent. For more information on pediatric services at Good Samaritan, visit goodsampediatrics.org or call 631-376-4444.